Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. It has been 17 years since the September 11th attack and from all outward signs it appears that Lower Manhattan, the physical place, has fully rebounded and that history has moved on. But thousands of 9 to 11 first responders and survivors are battling WTC related diseases in a daily struggle that all too often is fought in isolation. On the outdoor plaza of the fully reconstructed One World Trade Center tourists from all over the world stroll through a festive green market stopping to take selfies. It is a world way from the 9 to 11 attack that leveled the Twin Towers and left a massive toxic debris field that contaminated Lower Manhattan Air south of Canal Street for several months. By some counts, in the years since the attack in which close to 3,000 people perished, close to the same number of people have died since, from one of dozens of World Trade Center-related illnesses. The FDNY, which lost 343 on the day of the attack, has buried an additional 177 members. For the NYPD, which lost 23 in the attack, WTC disease has taken 156. And even though public health officials say that the 400,000 civilians who live and work south of Canal Street for the several months of the cleanup should get a health screening just 17,000 have. While WTC visitors are well aware of the body count on the day of the account, they are often unaware of the ongoing World Trade Center health crisis that still defines so many lives. Lodi Aldrich is a 24 years old from Northern England on her first visit to the World Trade Center site. She was unaware of the WTC's ongoing death toll. Are you aware that there are a lot of people that have gotten sick from 9 to 11 that are still dying, she was asked. No, I did not know that. It is quite shocking, she said. I would not have known that. We are going to the museums and find out more about it. Carolyn Happy and her family moved into nearby Battery Park City in 2006. She says that for her and her neighbors the redevelopment of the site is a bit surreal the juiciness of all this high-end retail does a very good job in putting a weird veneer over what happened here on September 11th, Happy said. Press accounts focused on the heroics of the uniformed first responders and the need for them to get health screening, CL.